Hello, friends. Welcome to a table, or not tabletop tonight. It's rolling with Ruel. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on here. I'm like pressing buttons, hoping that everything's going all right. But and I left this right here. I was hoping I'm, I'm meant to move that earlier. But uh, anyways, how are you? Welcome uh, to Rolling with Ruel. My name is Ruel Gaviol. I'm happy to be here. Glad you're here as well. I'm going to play a great solo game tonight. Um, I'm not usually the type to play war games. Um, but I was able to grab a copy of The Shores of Tripoli uh, thanks to Fort Circle Games. They sent me a copy over, and I really dig it. I think it's uh, really it's um, an accessible war game. Um, there's not, like, a bunch of charts or anything. Um, you're just playing. It's a uh, card-driven game, so you're playing cards, and uh, you're just trying. It's a little... Um, well, we'll see. We'll talk about it in a little bit. Um, it's based on actual uh, early American military history. So we'll get to that in just a second. I uh, want to say hello to everyone. Mrs. Gab2020 is in the house. Uh, she literally is in the house <laughs> across the hall there. Uh, Slackfish, hello. TVD, hello. What up, fam? Toro's in the house. Legends DM, aloha, friend. Um, yeah, very excited about this game, Slackfish. Uh, same here. Um, spoiler alert, the components are awesome. They're just... Everything about it is just a really nice production. Um, it was kickstarted last year. I believe the gentleman, uh, the designer, Kevin uh, Bertram, uh, hit me up and um, sent me the copy. I'd, honestly, I'd never heard of the game, uh, but when he sent it over, I was like, wow, just floored by the production. Um, it reminds me of a GMT game. Um, I mean, it's obviously, you know, very influenced by GMT. It's, um, the art is beautiful. Oops. Uh, all the com components just top notch. Well, we'll get to the game in just a minute. Uh, but again, thanks to Fort Circle Games for hanging out. Yeah, thank you, Victor. Thank you for noticing the shirt. Folks, I want to shout out my friend Daryl B. Gaming or Daryl Begaman or Daryl B. Gaming 2 now uh, here on Twitch. For my birthday, he had this shirt made for me. And, you know, this is in honor of all of you uh, for, you know, hanging out. And, you know, this is, this is what we do, right? We are Team Dead Camera. So shout out to Daryl. Uh, there he is right there. Thank you, Daryl, for the shirt. Uh, CH, uh, how Set is in the house. Thank you, CH. Or is it, I always forget, is it Chris? I, I think it's Chris, but I'm going to call you CH for now. Um, let me turn out, or turn off this music thing. Uh, boom, there. Okay. Uh, I read a book about President Jefferson's war on the pirates, and it was extremely interesting. Yeah, so Slackfish, I've never heard of this part of American history. Um, this is basically like the first time I think they deployed the Marines, right? So Jefferson, you know, Thomas Jefferson, um, you know, they're, he wanted to go check on what was happening in the Mediterranean. And um, spoiler alert, a war happened. And uh, so, you know, they sent the U.S. Navy there and they also deployed the Marine forces there. And then there, they had some allies. They had some Arab allies. They also had some Swedish allies. And we'll see in the game. Well, it's a really interesting uh, game, and I'm, I'm really excited to uh, play it with y'all here tonight. Um, TV from the Halls of Montezuma. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Legends. I saw uh, say hello there. Darby Gaming again. Thank you for the shirt, friend. Appreciate it. It fits perfectly, by the way. Yeah, so this, this is it, folks. Team Dead Camera. We may have an incident of it tonight. Who knows? Uh, but checking out on y'all. Hope, I hope you're doing well, um, as we always do here. Let's talk about stream snacks. Stream snacks. We need like a stream snack song. Stream snacks, stream snacks. Um, I just had some very delicious brownie brittle that Michelle picked up at the store the other day. It was really good. We had uh, for dinner, we actually had food delivered to us tonight uh, from our local Thai restaurant. We had, um, what I have? Uh, some Pad Thai um, and also some Pad CU. Two of our go-to favorites and uh, also some uh, wonton soup. Um, we just discovered this place has been in town for a while, but we always went to a different Thai place. And we found this one. We're like, why haven't we been going here? It's like way better. Um, so now that we know like the, the like the staples are good, we're going to start like experimenting, uh, trying out different things. Um, I know Michelle's, um, she actually has, uh, she's friends with an owner of a Thai restaurant a little further away from us, which we don't go to much anymore just because, you know, hey, we're in the pandemic and everything. Um, but she has there was like a salmon dish that she really liked there and she does more of the curries there i had there was one thing i was eating god what was that it was something that really just burned my mouth every time it was so good though it was like some kind of fish it was like a fish i think um and how oh, these thai spices oh so good but yeah always burn my mouth so with this new place we found we just went with the basics you know just standards if you can do the standards okay then we're gonna start experimenting and that's what we're gonna do Ooh, excuse me 
Uh, Legends of Debating on dinner. Uh, nice, nice. Uh, it's Chuck, but no... Oh, Chuck. Oh, my bad. Uh, my bad, Chuck. My bad. Um, I thought only trading happened in the Mediterranean according to board games. <laughs> yeah, right, Team Viv? <laughs> yeah, this is definitely not a trading game in the Mediterranean. Uh, Carrots and Baba Ganoush. Ooh, Victor. That's that's Michelle's jam right there. She loves that Baba Ganoush. I had a white chocolate chip with walnuts cookie. Oh, my gosh. That sounds good. Uh, Trio Powers in the in the house. Hey, you're early, friend. Haven't even started playing yet. Um, oh, Gallo de Res. Very nice. Oh, that's, again, perfect for that cold weather, right, um, Trio? Iced coffee for Daryl B. Gaiman. Board Game Spam always has the good stuff. Tofu, Mandarin Orange. Oh. And you talked about Sidney Gong last night. Oh, my gosh. Always good. Here's the book I read on this. Oh, okay, cool, folks. Uh, Slyfish just dropped in. Thank you for the uh, link, Slackfish. You know, I'm going to pop on that link, too. I want to see what this is all about. Thomas Jefferson and Tripoli Pirates. Forgotten War That Changed American History. Yeah, so there it is, folks. It's only five bucks on Kindle. On the Kindle, yeah, cool. And you actually, uh, you can earn credits, too. Oh, sweet. That might have to be an instant buy. Well, I mean, I've got, actually, I just read a book. I finished this last night. I started it and finished it last night. Uh, again, I picked this up at my uh, friendly local uh, comic book store. Um, and I bought the Andre the Giant Life and Legend. I had actually ordered this from them. They didn't have it in stock a couple of weeks ago. I said, hey, can I get a copy? And I loved it. Um, as an Andre the Giant fan, there's I don't there really wasn't anything too new in here. Um, so if you know his life story, I mean, it's all here. Um, you know, he, he, he lived a life. Um, I mean, there's, you know... Like anyone, he's a complex individual. There's a lot of good about Andre, some not so good things about him too. Um, but you know, he had a disease. I, I can never pronounce the disease name, but you know, he basically couldn't stop growing. Uh, the pituitary gland, I believe, kept producing whatever it is that you know he just kept growing, and his heart couldn't you know handle it. Uh, the doctors said he couldn't you know wouldn't see live to see forty. He actually made it past his 40th birthday a few years after that. So, and he definitely lived a full life. Uh, but it's there's a lot of sad moments too as well. Um, but just a real quick, I mean, that's it's the art. It's a black and white uh, graphic novel. You know, some really cool like imagery. Uh, just very, I don't know if it's not abstract, but um, very clean art. I found. Um, but yeah, it just talks about his life in and out of the ring. Again, if you like. Andre, I, I, I would recommend it. Um, if you know his life story, I don't think it's it's one of the, it's not one of those things that's gonna. Oh my gosh, I never knew that. But if you don't really know about him, I'd, I'd recommend this. Um, I've read a bunch of stuff and I've seen interviews with Andre, so I pretty much knew everything that was in here, except for like one or two things. But it was still nice. It's a it's a really good read. I, I recommend it as if you're a wrestling fan or just even if you're a fan of Andre in from Princess uh, the Princess Bride, I I definitely recommend. It. It's a good good read. Okay, so that's what I've been reading lately. Um, uh, yeah, it's just five bucks on kill. Yep. Uh, I need to read the graphic novel I bought called, ooh, Lady Mechan Mechanica. I have not heard of that. Someone who's often tried not to stand out. I can't imagine being someone in such a freakishly unusual body. Yeah, and Slackfish, that's what Andre talks about. Well, I mean, uh, he in the conversations that they recreated with um, other wrestlers and stuff, that was a big thing with him. Uh, literally a big thing, right? Um, just... You know, the, there was like scenes where, you know, people, it, he was a, a freak of nature, they would, they would say, and they pointed at him, laughed at him, you know, since he was a kid all the way, to, even when he was a successful, the most successful wrestler in the world at the time, he still felt like he's, you know, stood out, you know, he couldn't help it, and um, he drank a lot, um, he basically, you know, there's was someone in there said he drank because he didn't want to uh, face the impending you know, he knew he was going to die at a younger age, so he didn't want to, um, I guess that was his way of coping with it, and, you know, I, I thought it was sad, uh, again, I'm not, there, if, if you don't, I'm not trying to spoil anything, but um, it, it was a, it was a really, a really fascinating graphic novel, and hey, we have a raid coming in, I uh, want to say hello to our friends, Weird Guy of Doom, is that a raid? Yes, thank you for the raid. You get the raiding hat, my friend. I appreciate it. My name is Ruel Gaviola. This is Rolling with Ruel. I play board games here Monday through Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific. Thank you for the raid. We're talking about stream snacks. We're talking about what we're eating and uh, drinking right now. We also, we're also we talking about books and stuff. So thank you for the raid, uh, Weird Guy Doom. Much appreciated. It is the raid hat. Compliments of my wife. My hat is off to you, friend. Welcome to the uh, channel. Uh, so we were talking about, I just read the Andre the Giant graphic novel. Again, I'm a big Andre, a big Andre uh, the Giant fan. 
Really cool. I mean, I love his acting uh, in The Princess Bride. And let's see, we've got all the raids coming up. What's up, Raiders? Thank you all for hanging out. Um, Legend says, I met the guy from The Princess Bride and he told me stories. Oh, that's cool. Um, Transformers, Terminator, Crossover, Trade. Ooh, nice. Transformers and Terminator. I'm, okay, I, I may have to read that. Um, yeah, the, the stories that... Some of the stories uh, from the cast of The Princess Bride were actually in the graphic novel. So they have like a little snippet of like Billy Crystal... And um, Mandy Patinkin uh, and everyone else, sort of like their memories of um, being on set with Andre. I thought, okay, so here's one thing. I thought this was really interesting. Andre, you know, he, he was already on the decline of his wrestling career when he starred in the, the movie, The Princess Bride. It was really interesting how he would say, like, after the movie experience, you know, on being on set, he said it was his favorite thing in the world. And, you know, he said this in a couple of interviews that, that were recounted in the um, in the book. He said he loved being on set because nobody stared at him. You know, he was just another actor. And, you know, they were just doing their thing. And um, <laughs> I, I thought it's a very, uh, what do you call it, like a poignant moment. You know, like he found his safe space where he could feel comfortable and be himself on, on a movie set. So it, it's, again, it's, it's a fascinating story. Again, there's... I, I'm glad that the author didn't like, you know, gloss over some of the uh, more um, not so cool parts of Andre. Um, so, but for the most part, it, it is a it's it's a good look at a, a the life a, a life of a very unique individual, as we will say. Uh, Slackers, we need uh, Panda here for the unintentional puns. Yeah, right. <laughs> Andre Giant was indeed amazing in Princess Bride. Agreed. Yeah. Anybody want a peanut? Uh, we played Yukon Airways and a small race of pitch car mini. I was just going to ask where guy doing nice. That sounds. I have the um, original pitch car. I don't. I I don't think I've seen. It. Is mini like just a smaller version of it? Is it like a smaller track? I'm assuming it's just like everything is a smaller scale. But I've never um, played that one. No, I had to drink so much to just numb the pain. Yeah, uh, weird guy doom. We were talking about that a little bit. How, yeah, it was just numb the pain. Not only the physical pain that he was, you know, always in. Because he couldn't stop growing. But also, you know, he had a daughter that he never saw. Um, never knew her. I um, mean, he, he met her like a... Met her a couple of times in her lifetime, which is sad. You know, because he's always on the road. Um, you know, if you know the life of a wrestler, that's... You're, you live out of a suitcase in a hotel. Uh, regular pitch car didn't fit on the car. Mini is like a portable version. Uh, fits in a smaller box. Oh, didn't fit on the table. Okay, cool. Yeah, Games of Fire, it is a very sad story. Hey, speaking of knowing pain, I really enjoyed your appearance. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, friends, hey, you know what? Let me do that real quick. I, I had set this up here. Let me get the keyboard. Thanks for reminding me, uh, Slackfish. I... Oh, here it is right here. I just pasted it in. Um, oh, no, that's the wrong one. Uh, good looking. Please check out that video, folks. Um, this was uh, a project that I worked on with Becca Scott. Uh, we did a thing called Good, Good Looking Kickstarters, and we basically just hung out and chatted uh, for, it was like, a, I think it was a 50 minute video. We just chatted about all the cool projects that are happening on Kickstarter right now. I picked a few of my favorite, Becca picked a few of her favorite, and, you know, we just chatted. It was a really cool thing. We're hoping that'll become a thing. It's the first, um, it's the first planned episode of many to come in the future, hopefully, fingers crossed, right? Um, I think the next one we're working on is going to be coming out in two weeks, and uh, we'll be talking about... Uh, more great Kickstarter projects. So please check that out. Uh, Slackfish says, I insta back the queer story game based on Becca's description. You know, it's funny. I, I'm i pretty sure Slackfish, that's the one she insta back when we actually did the episode. Like, it was, I don't think it was like, you know, the, I, didn't, I haven't seen the episode. I'm assuming they didn't put it in where like she was actually, actually buying something. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's the one uh, she insta backed. Um, it was a great video. Thank you, Victor. I appreciate that. I, I, I really do appreciate that, friend. Uh, Legends said, I met Becca Scott back, oh, February 2020. Cool. Where'd you meet her, um, Legends? She's uh, she's awesome. She's um, I've been very fortunate to work with her on several occasions, and then we became friends outside of work. Um, just a very, very uh, nice human being. Um, her and her husband, um, just good people. Um, and I've been very lucky, uh, <laughs> very fortunate uh, to spend some time gaming with her outside of all the work stuff. So I've spent many an hour... At, uh, at Becca's playing Twilight Imperium, you know, my favorite game. She's a huge Twilight Imperium fan, and um, 
Yeah, you get to you get you really get to know someone when you sit at a table for like ten hours together. <laughs> Just a, a wonderful uh, person. Uh, let's see, met her at Gen Con twenty nineteen at the Renegade booth. Oh, cool. Yes, lovely human. Agreed. Um, uh, Weird guy Doom, nice, nice. And uh, Weird guy Doom also insta backed Redland. Well, Redlands because of Roxley. Yeah, Redlands. It, it honestly, it sounded like a funny name to me, but once I saw the Roxley name, it was like, okay, yeah, uh, definitely. Um, I, I'm a I, the last one I backed of Roxley, I missed the Brass Birmingham um, Kickstarter, which I was so bummed about. I just, I don't know why I didn't back it. I might have had like a couple other things I was backing at the time, so it was like my budget was already stretched thin. So the last one I backed was actually the Santorini one. Remember before Santorini made it to Target? I backed the Santorini uh, game through Roxley. I don't think, no, I didn't back Steampunk Rally. I ended up getting that second hand. And then I ended up getting uh, Brass Birmingham um, anyways. Um, but yeah. Uh, Legend says I met her at the at Magic Worlds. Okay, cool, nice. Yeah, she was, um, again, she's a, not only she loved Tron Imperium, she's a, a hardcore uh, Magic player as well, which is totally something outside of my realm. Um, but yeah, she's been an esports r uh, reporter uh, for that. Uh, Daryl B. Gaiman says, I'll only play Twilight uh, once a year with Ruel. <laughs> yeah, Daryl has played it, folks, one time. I never thought he would do it because he's, I know he's, that's not his jam is sitting there for six, seven, eight hours, but he he, he did it. Uh, he, he played it. And I, from what I remember, Daryl, you might have been close to winning, weren't you? Were you? So I know, our, I think it was John that ended up winning, John G, uh, Book of Nerds. But I, I'm pretty sure you were in the hunt, too. Uh, hey, let's go, Carol. Hi, friends. Uh, hoping to get it to the table this weekend. Nice. Very nice. Um, we're going to span uh, Hoppy Meeple's in the house, too. Hi, Hoppy Meeple. Didn't see you here. I think I missed uh, some comments. But, hey. Anyways, we are going to be playing Deadspan. Deadpan's in the house. Thank you, Deadpan. Um, oh, Hoppy Meeple's playing Gugon tonight. They, that's what Board Game Span played uh, the other night. Friends, let's get to this, shall we? Um... I am excited to play this game, so I'm going to use the Force. Again, th and thank you for hanging out, folks. Uh, we're going to use the Force. Whoop. Here we are. This is... That's a mouse. That's going to put that over there. <laughs> this is the Shores of Tripoli. So we are the U.S. Forces, which are the um, blue ones. Uh, these are the uh, frigates. These ships here. Can I put this here? Yeah. The frigates look like this. I'm going to have them here because they actually have two hit points. So when they get hit... Uh, you lay them down on the side. So I'm going to have them here. And then you have the uh, Tripoli uh, Tripolitan uh, Co Corsairs. That's their little ships there. Uh, they're going to go there. So they start with two of them here in Gibraltar. Gibraltar is sort of like the neutral spot. It's like we don't fight each other in Gibraltar. Uh, so then we just go along here. Tangier, Algiers, Tunis, Tripoli, Benghazi, Derne, a Alexandria, and Malta. Okay, and up here, this is just the supplies. Oh, well, you have the U.S. supplies here, and the Tripolitan supply here. Uh, Tripoli and their allies, uh, they have Corsairs. They also have some frigates that may come into play later. Uh, the cubes are the armies. Uh, so we have the uh, Tripolitan, Tripo, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but the armies from Tripoli and their allies here. It's one unit each there, 4-4, four, four, and, oh, Alexandria doesn't have one. Uh, the yellow ones, that's our allies from Sweden. The Swedish frigates will come into play. Uh, the white cubes are the U.S. allies, uh, the Arab allies. And then the blue ones are the U.S. Marines. Okay. Uh, so it's a card-driven game. Um, I'm going to... Let me get my thing here. So the whole the whole backstory is, and please correct me if I'm wrong, I've only read the a book once once through and honestly I was I ripped right through it I, I should have taken a little more time but it has a couple of books it has this historical uh, document um, right so we have the Shores of Tripoli historical supplement and designers notes it actually talks a little bit about it um, <clears throat> basically Jefferson like there's pirates all along this coast here right and they just they were just you know hammering on um, anyone that went through you had, you had to pay a, a Basically, the pirates just robbed you, right? Uh, along this coast, uh, Thomas Jefferson, when he became president, he decided, hey, you know, let's make sure everything's cool out here, send some ships, and then it turns out um, the uh, the ruler, is it Yusef Karamli, I think? And again, I'm, I'm going to butcher these names. I I'm, I'm apologize for not knowing my history. He basically declares war. Uh, so while the U.S. is there, it's like, oh, okay, now we're in a war. So that's when... The U.S. starts ramping things up. They get their allies, and then they start, you know, 
bombing each other and stuff. So that's what we're playing. Uh, the look of the boards and the components really do make a great impression. Yeah, and everything's solid. Like the board is beautiful. These are nice chunky uh, wooden pieces. Um, the cards, oh my gosh, the art is, you know, I'm sure this is like public domain, domain art, but it's just gorgeous. The cards themselves, right? And you're going to do one thing on your turn. You're going to play a card, folks, and that's it. You play a card. You can either do it for um, one of two actions. You may discard any card that you have in your hand, just discard it, and you may move your ships. And the ships, you move them anywhere on the where you want. So let's say I'm gonna, I play, I just discard a card. I can move all my frigates all the way here, or here, or here, or wherever. That's one action. The other action, you discard a card, and then you build a gunboat in Malta. Okay, that's one of your um, boats there. Uh, that's gonna be one of your forces. So that's two actions. The third action is you just play a card as an event, and the event you just read it and do it. So if I played the Swedish uh, frigates arrive, place two Swedish uh, frigates in the naval patrol zone of Tripoli. Okay, so that's, I just go to the supply, and then this would be uh, discarded. After playing this event, this card is removed from the game, so it's a one-time use. Um, I would just get the Swedes, put them in Tripoli. This is the naval patrol zone. These circles here are the harbors, okay, so they're just sort of hanging out here. They're not fighting yet. Once they enter here, then they're going to fight. But they can they can do other stuff. We'll we'll see how they um, take care of that as we go. Panda Angel's in the house. Is that Panda Angel I just saw? Uh, yeah. Hi, Panda Angel. Are you still? I thought you were. Um, I think she's pulling du double duty. She was supposed to. Be, she's on uh, Meepleville's uh, chat Wednesday night chat right now. So, <laughs> um, yeah, there she is. Look at the boards. Yeah. Um, I was but lost. What was that, uh, Daryl? My bad. Oh yeah yeah okay yeah yeah. The Twilight Imperium game. So. That card, you just do it and discard it. And then you just, you continue that. Um, you get one card per turn, per um, season. So you go spring, summer, fall, winter. Uh, you'll notice here these are the years. Like you start in 1801, goes to 1806. Okay, so after four seasons, you and your opponent go back and forth. I am playing the uh, Triple E bot or the T bot, as they, they say. Um, basically, it's really cool. I like the system here. It's very simple. And this is my type of um, solo game. After my turn, I just go down the line of these event cards, and if one, the first one that matches the condition, then I just pick it up, I do it, and then I discard it from the game. And then I just go down for my, the next action for the T-Bot, once we're in the summer. Same thing, whatever matches up, do that. If something doesn't match up, we have these two here. Uh, these are like the, these will stay in the game forever. They, they do not leave. So it's basically, if they can't do any of these events, check here. Or here, and if those conditions, uh, those conditions will always be there. If they get hit, then you do those. If not, then you go to the draw deck. I'll, you know, I'll put the draw deck up here so we can see it. Uh, you just draw that, and if, and if it's um, the condition is met, then there it is. Um, T is, stands for destroy. Thank you, Sir Bearsworth. Hey, there's been a gift sub. Thank you, uh, Board Game Spam. Very nice of you. Folks, I want to say, whoop. I want to say that there's an alert. Alert, we have a new gift subscription. Thank you, Board Game Span. You have gifted a tier one gift sub to, I believe it was TVid. That's very kind of you. Thank you, friend. And since it's since it is a gift sub, we do gift, 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 gift. Thank you, Board Game Span. There's the gift hat. It is off to you, friend. Well done. Very nice. Enjoy the sub, TVid. Thank you. Um, Board game spans, your generosity is much appreciated. Um, can I just shout out the shirt again? Thanks, my Dar oh, friend Daryl. <laughs> I love the shirt, man. It's so cool. Um, let's get back here. Um, we are going to. Oh, was that another gift sub? Wait, gift sub. It's their first. I thought it was to TVib. It does say paying for they got from TVib to the community. Oh, very nice. Cool. And Hoppy Meeple, did you get one too? Well, enjoy the gift subs, friends. Um, so those are your two actions, you, or three actions. You either discard to move, discard to build a gunship, or play the event, follow the directions, and um, that's it. Uh, as we go along here, each action takes that. You're going to discard cards. The next year, once you hit that, you take this ship, place it into the harbor, and you're going to draw six cards. Your, um, your hand limit is eight, so once you get up to pass eight, you're just going to discard out of that. By the time it gets to 1806, 
you're going to have a discard pile. That final round, you're going to be able to pick up all your cards that you haven't been that are still in the game. Again, some of these, for instance, this one, you play it, you're going to uh, remove it from the game. So some of these events, one-time events, will not be in your deck. But the things you have in your um, deck, you're going to pick those up. You're going to be able to, you know, go through those and pick your next, um, your final six cards for the game. Let me make sure that's right. Excuse me. Um, you draw all remaining cards. So you will have all your remaining cards in that final year if you make it to that year. Um, it's a really interesting mechanism. So you're going to be drawing cards and you're going to play them in the order that you want. So it's not really, I mean, it's not really a deck building game. It's just more of a hand management game. Um, but yeah, we're just going to jump right into it. Uh, let me see if there's any other rules I need to go over. So start of the year, we did that. Seasonal rounds, we did that. Oh, combat and stuff. Yeah. So when, whenever there's enemy for, again, this is the one like neutral area, but once the enemy force is here, you have a couple of options. You can do naval combat, which is ship versus ship, naval bombardment. So that'd be like, you know, ship versus a military here. Um, and then you have ground combat when it's just military uh, ground units. And um, there are special combat rules for s certain cards. So we'll play that. Um, uh, we'll talk about that as it comes up. Oh, Michelle hooked me up with this. look. So, you know, I love LaCroix. This one was I mean, this one of my favorite ones. It's a hibiscus flavor. I really mm -hmm. like this one. This, I'm a big fan. Uh, Sykes like said, Jefferson decided it was not worth paying it anymore and sent... What little U.S. Navy there was to fight them. That's right. And that's they do mention that in the book, Slackfish. Thank you for bringing that up. Um, like, apparently, Jefferson and his, uh, uh, the, the government, they did the number, they ran the numbers and decided it was cheaper to start a, going to war rather than, you know, just paying all the, you know, paying it off every every uh, year or whatever they did. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Bye, Biscuits. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna jump into it. So I have my cards here. I'm for the starting round. I believe I draw eight. Is it? I got my little uh, player aid here. Um, I have played it through. I did not win my first practice game. I'm hoping y'all can help me uh, win this uh, second game. Uh, I got everything set up here. I'm gonna draw one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, place the. Okay, so I have these America. I can have these in front of me. These are one-time use. And then my hand of cards, I'll show you some of that I have. Like I have Lieutenant Street, Strat, Sterrett in Pursuit. Playable when making an inception roll, uh, interception roll. So I'll talk about that later. I'm going to save that. Uh, I can launch the Intrepid. So I roll a die and apply the result. Yeah, combat, by the way, um, you roll dice and six is a hit. Everything else is a miss. There are ways to get you uh, better odds, but depending on cards. But yeah, it's it's not easy to um, um, make a hit. Okay. Oh, win conditions. Let's talk about how do you how the heck do you win this game? Let me tell you right now. I'm glad you asked, Ruel. I will tell you. Uh, the win conditions are. Do, 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 do. Um. Gosh, where was I? I should have I should have marked this down. Okay. Victory condition. The American player wins the game by either forcing the Tripolitan player to sign a peace treaty favorable to the Americans or by capturing Tripoli and installing Hamid Karamanli on the throne. Both these conditions are achieved through card play. So some of those cards are going to have that specific event and you've got to play at the right time. If the player plays the treat of peace and amity, the game ends immediately in an American victory. But you must meet certain conditions. Must be fall of 1805 or later. Uh, allies must be at peace. Um, in certain um, cities, uh, the city of Dernay must have been captured by Hammett's army. And finally, there must be no uh, Tripolitan frigates in the harbor of uh, Tripoli. Okay. Now, uh, the American player may also win by capturing Tripoli. To capture Tripoli, the player plays, again, a certain card, Assault on Tripoli. And we'll find it. When the card is here, I'll just show it on, you know, it'll say the text, like, how to win. Okay. And then the Tripoli player wins... Uh, by um, basically acquiring all these gold pieces here, right? There's 12 gold pieces, and if they acquire all 12, the game is immediately over. Uh, also, if the trip, uh, Tripolitan player sinks four of the American uh, frigates, the game is over. They've just defeated the, uh, the Navy. Um, oh, also, if the Tripolitan player eliminates Hammett's army, the game ends immediately. Uh, because the Tripolitan infantry are stationary, this happens while defending... Uh, Derny, Benghazi, or Tripoli. 
okay? And if neither player has achieved victory by the end of 1806, it's a draw, okay? Uh, Slackers, what? Ruel well, always wins his slow love case, right? <laughs> yeah, we all know my record. Okay, uh, I'm going to put the historical stuff down here. And then we are going to leave the cheat sheet here. I've got my cards here. I've got the rules here. Actually, I'll just put the cheat sheet here and the rules. Okay. Uh, so, um, I need to play a card. So, let me share some of the cards that I have here. Street and Pursuit, Launch the Intrepid. Okay. Uh, General. Okay, so this one we can't play yet because uh, um, we have not made uh, Hammett's Army. And Hammett's Army is here. One of our uh, core cards, which we start face up with us. Play both the spring 1804 later. So 1804 is here. So we have to wait on that. Um, we could do this right off the bat. Bring in our Swede counterparts. Place two Swedish frigates frigates in the naval patrol zone of um, Tripoli. We bring them here. Um, yeah, not surprised if this game makes you sympathetic to a, a Tripolitan uh, position, right? Okay. Oh, and we also have Thomas Jefferson. What he does is move up to eight army American frigates, uh, resolve any battles that result. Um, so we're obviously saving that later. We've got three frigates, uh, American frigates here. We've got three to unlock, and then we have two in the supply. We also have the Swedes in the, in the supply. Um, this card here, uh, Lieutenant O'Bannon leads the charge. Play about the start of a land battle. We're going to save that, obviously, because we have no land units yet. Uh, this is another one. Marine sharpshooters, playable at the start of the land battle. battle. Uh, so here's one of the cards that will help us. All marine infantry units hit on a roll of five or six for every round of combat. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Uh, Congress authorizes action. Play two American frigates on the following year. Place two frigates on the following year of the year turn track. Ooh. So maybe we'll do that, folks. Because then we can bring in two of these here. Uh, here and they'll be unlocked next turn so we'll have a bunch of um, ships why don't we do that let's load up folks mm, excuse me uh, the sooner you do that the more those uh, Swedish ships have to protect uh, Tripoli raids but maybe not in the spring yeah you know what I was thinking you know we we do have more than one move here so that, yeah let's do that uh, I'm gonna agree with Slackfish okay place two Swedish frigates in the naval patrol zone so we are of our Swede counterparts Come down here. They're in the naval patrol zone. Okay, whoops. Naval patrol zone. And then after playing this card as an event, which we just did, the card is removed from the game. So start a discard pile up there. So that's our turn. Now our trip, uh, Tripolitan buddy here. We just go down the line and see if any of these um, come up. So move the two Tripolitan corsairs from the harbor of Gibraltar. To the harbor of Tripoli. Any American frigates in the naval patrol zone may first make an interception roll. Okay, so we don't have Americans. We have Swedes, so that doesn't come into play. But we do move the Corsairs um, to the harbor of Tripoli. Okay, so now they have two, four, six of these. Okay, and same thing. After we play this, this goes out. I'll uh, put their discard pile be over there. Uh, so now we are in the summer. Um, let's see. Okay, land battle. We gotta wait, wait, wait. Um, one triple. I think the ships would have needed to be in the Gibraltar zone, not Tripoli. Oh, that one, uh, Slackers. That was um. This card was specific. Uh, place two Swedish frigates in the naval patrol zone of Tripoli. Yeah. But normally, yeah, you're right. It would um, They would come in through Gibraltar. That was just a card specific. Okay, for our second move, we are in the summer of 1801, friends. And again, thank you for joining us. This is the shores of Tripoli. Oh, no, I meant to intercept. Okay, yeah. Um, and it had to be an American ship, too, not the Swedes. Move the two Tripolitan courses from the harbor to the... Harbor of Tripoli, okay, which we did. Any American frigates may first make an interception roll. Okay. So I wonder if we, I guess they're, no, they're, they're, because they're, they're American allies, right? Yeah, so we do have to make an interception roll. And I have that card. Where is that card? Um, it was the 
America. Okay, here. Playable when making an interception roll. Each American frigate may roll three dice instead of two. So specifically, they have to be in the Gibraltar zone. Oh, okay, got it, got it, got it. I see what you're saying. So when they move from here, you're saying, okay. So were they in the, uh, the U.S., the Americans started in the harbor, not the, okay, so they weren't in the patrol zone. Okay, so that doesn't come into play. So we are in the summer. I've got my next move here. Um, so that, playable with the land bottle, move, okay, roll one die. Hmm. I could move in here. Yeah, you have to intercept them as they leave. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Um, so Hammett's Army, I want to save that card. Definitely want to save that. Playable at the start. Okay. You know, I am going to... So I'm going to discard this uh, for movement. So I'm going to discard this one. So I'm not going to worry about the interception roll. I mean, interception roll, you're going to... So basically, the big ships, you roll two dice, and the small ships, you roll one die. This would give me an extra die, but I want to move these ships. Let's go straight here. Start a war. Wait, actually, no. I don't want to start yet, because if I do that... So basically, after each combat... Um, you got to move all the boats to Malta. So do I just want to stay here in the naval um, zone? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, Swedish frigates. Okay, for Swedish, the Swedes don't participate in combat. They're just there to intercept stuff. Okay. Yeah. So we're just going to patrol. They're going to patrol here. Let me put these up here. So patrol, and then once they start doing stuff, we can intercept. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so that was my second move. Now we go to uh, Tripoli. Uh, we go down here. The first card, let's see if they meet this condition. Constantinople sends aid. Playable if Hammett's army has captured. Nope, they have not, so we go to the next card. Uh, Yusuf. Pirate raid with the Corsairs from the harbor of Tripoli, which were there. Um... And the Corsairs from the and the Corsairs from the harbor of each active ally. Okay, so there's no active allies right now. So I think we skipped that one, right? Pirate raid with the Corsairs from the harbor. And no, we, we just we just do the pirate raid because there are even though there are none here, we still do the pirate raid. Okay, let's do that. So pirate raid. And the pirate raid, raid with Corsairs from Tripoli, unless specified by event card. Okay, so now we get to make that interception roll. Uh, if American slash Swedish frigates in naval patrol zone outside of harbor make interception roll, two dice per frigate for each six return one raiding Corsair to the supply. So that's what we're trying to do. And I'm going to play that. Oh man, I just got rid of that interception card. Darn it. Okay. So I'm going to roll two, four, six, seven. All right. Two, four, six, eight, ten dice. Yep. Only six is counted. Correct. So we've got two, four, Six, eight, and ten for our Swedish friends. Well, here, I'll do it this way. Okay, let's get some sixes, folks. Hey, Herbs, thanks for joining us, uh, Herbs Gambit. Okay, come on, sixes. I see one six. Wow, that's it? Wow, Boo Earns. <laughs> almost triggered the OCD. My bad, Slackfish. Okay, so we only got one six. That is, ugh, yuck. Okay. So one six means we take down one Corsair. Uh, that goes back here to supply. And then the raid. Um, now we check if there's any battle cards that can be played. Play okay. So we do play a battle card for the AI. They get happy hunting. Playable when making a pirate raid with uh, Tripolitan Corsairs. Roll three additional dice. Okay, so they have... And again, we're just looking at the ships. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus three is nine. So eight dice, we'll go nine here. So again, same thing. Uh, six, what is it? Six is get you a coin, I think. Yep. Uh, 
Tripolitan player rolls one die per Corsair and takes one gold from the supply for every five or six. Again, we don't want them to collect 12 gold because then the game is immediately over. No fives, no sixes. Ugh! Two fives and a six. Boo earns. Is that it? Nope, one more. Okay, it's a four. Okay, cool. So they get three gold. One, two, three. Uh, they get nine more. The game is over. They won. Okay. All right, so that's that. Uh, their happy hunting card goes away. Uh, their Yusuf Kamramli card goes away. Is, I'm butchering these names. My apologies. And that is the end of that. So we are in the fall now. Okay. Um, I can't play this one yet. I cannot do that. Um, can I get a frigate over here? Playable. Oh, a little strategy note. Um, for the Americans, what we're trying to do is, as the American pl uh, player, I'm reading straight from the rulebook, folks. Um, the early years of the war can be very frustrating, particularly if you draw a handful of ground combat cards. Hey, guess what? I have a bunch of ground combat cards. Your goal in the early years is try to limit the uh, Tripolitan player's piracy, excuse me, and build up your fleet. If you can bombard Durne, Dern a few times, the Marines will thank you later. Oh, okay. Keep that. Keep in mind that the Hammett's army created can be played in 1804, but needs an American frigate in Alexandria to try to slip. So try to slip one over in late 1803. Although you will see all your discarded cards again after the reshuffle, try to hang on to General Eaton attacks, which I don't have yet. Um, okay. So <clears throat> we've got two more moves this year, folks. Um, I've got land battle cards here. We can do this one. Let's bring up the point is you can discard those land cards to see them in the second half. That's right. That's right. But I'm going to do this. Um, I, I really want to load up on those frigates. So let's uh, do Congress authorizes action. Place two American frigates in the following year of the year turn track. So we're going to get two of these. Okay, so we're going to have our... Two ships here, and we're going to put in 1802. So the next turn, we're going to unlock all uh, three ships. Uh, this is removed from the game. And then we go to uh, the this player. Okay. So this one has nothing, cannot be played yet. Uh, this one's 1803 or later, cannot be played. Okay, this one I believe can be played. Five Corsair uh, check. Oh, okay, this is the one that looks uh, like the standard card. If there are five more Corsairs in the harbor of Tripoli, Tripoli performs a pirate raid. Do not discard this card. So this this is always going to be in the game. And they have one, two, three, four, five, six. And we have uh, our five there. So again, same thing. We're going to do an intercept first. Interception, two, four, six. And then two, four. All right. So we need sixes, folks. Come on now. Come on. Okay, I see one, six. Darn, that's it? Ugh. Okay. One six again. Get these out of here. Come on, dice. The dice ain't nice, as they would say over on uh, our family plays game. So we got one of those out. Now we're going to do the raid. So they've got two, four, five. Uh, five of these. And they hit on five or six. Burns. Okay, hey, no fives, no sixes, folks. We have survived the raid. So they don't get any coins. Eh, <laughs> eh. Now it is the winter of 1801. Okay. Uh, by the way, what um, anyone play war games here? Are y'all uh, war games fans? Um, of course, I am new to this. The only war game I've played is Twilight Struggle, which I absolutely love. Um, I, I don't know if... Daryl, are you still here? Have we played that? I know I played with Jose. Our, our mutual friend Jose is a big fan of Twilight Struggle. Um, that game is awesome. I have a copy of it there, thanks to Michelle. Um, which I haven't opened yet, um, but I do have it on the app. I I haven't played it on the app, or I have maybe played a couple of turns, but it's one of those ones I really want to sit and play face-to-face -face with someone. Uh, so I would probably buy them, but I've never had the group friends to play with. Yeah, <clears throat> our I, I think there's a few guys in our group um, that really enjoy uh, those type of games, and uh, this one I feel like I can... This one's more accessible, definitely. It's not as uh, uh, hardcore as uh, Twilight Struggle, but I dig it. Um, okay, 
so it's the winter. This is the final turn of the round. Um, I could, I could build a ship. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, let's discard. So did I, these were out of the game, I think. Yeah. Okay, those are all out of the game. Uh, so, what is it? Yep, yep. Those are all out of the game. I could dump. Uh, okay, I'm going to dump Lieutenant O'Bannon charge, so that's our discard there. Uh, we'll see that later in the game. I'm going to discard him to get another ship out here. So we build a gunner ship there at Malta. That's going to roll one die. Uh, yeah, gunboat right there. Yep, cool. Uh, Daryl, game. Yeah, played once. We played once. But yeah, it's so good, right, Daryl? Love that game. Uh, Daryl, I'm already thinking you're gonna like this one. Um, we also played. Daryl and I played. I think it was like 1775 uh, Rebellion uh, from Academy Games. That's a that's a uh, a good war game. That's a little more accessible as well. Um, and uh, Daryl, you had the 1883 game. I think it was, which I didn't play, but I think you played with your cousin. Um, okay, so we just built a, a gunboat. I discarded that card. Now we go back to the uh, to T-Bot. Uh, play a little 1803. If there's, okay, yeah. So there are one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to do this one again. We Again, they're just going to keep doing this until we get rid of some of those. Five more Corsairs in the harbor. Pirate raid. First we are to do our interception. So get the dice. Two, four, six, and then... Two, four. In the Dice Star review, they talked a lot about balance. Would you rather design lean toward historical accuracy or game balance? That's a great question, Slackfish. First, I want to ask, what would you lean towards? I feel like, hmm, I don't know. Um, okay, here's a here's a silly analogy. Uh, the Star Wars Risk game that I played. That is lean leans towards the rebels because it's the end of Return of the Jedi, which the Re uh, rebels won. So it's definitely have uh, weighted towards the rebels, and I like that because it's it's historically accurate, right? But you still have a shot as the Empire. Would it be more fun? It was more balanced. I don't know. I, I I think I like it that way. So, but then again, that's that's Star Wars for a historical battle like this. Maybe I would like it to be a little more historically accurate, but. I don't know. Historical accuracy as long as you can swap sides and play again. Yeah, that's true. Very good. Yeah, very enjoyable. Can't wait to try this one with you when we are able to. Yeah, definitely, Daryl. Okay. And Daryl, you know what? I'll let you borrow this one because it's got a solo mode to me. Alright, here's the interception roll. Come on, sixes. Got one six. Is that it again? Darn it. Okay, so one Corsair gets blown up. And now we do the raid. Get all these dice out of here. Uh, so they're down to one, two, three, four. Okay, so four. Uh, five or six, they get coins. No fives, no sixes. There's a five. Okay, yeah, that one was cocked, but um, that, that's all right. Uh, they get one coin. So they have four coins now. They're a third of the way to the victory condition. Okay. And uh, that was the raid. So that is the end of the year, folks. Uh, let me look at cleanup real quick. End of the season, if 18, okay. If winter goes, start a year. Okay. Uh, so, place any American frigates from New Year into the Gibraltar or Tripoli Harbor. Okay. Wait, Tripoli? Oh, no, no. Okay. Gibraltar. Um, and then draw six cards. Uh, whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I have three here, so I need to discard one. Okay. Whoa, look at that. Okay. Assault on Tripoli, fall. Okay, we got to save that one. General Eaton, okay. Uh, we've got that General Eaton card, folks. So we can start moving some ground forces. Move Hammett's army from Durne to... Oh, wait, no, we can't. Oh, wait, we are in 1802. So we have to... Hammett, Hammett's army is created in 1804. And then that's when we could play this one. Okay, so we'll save that. It's in my mouth there. Uh, burn the Philadelphia. Okay, what is this? Uh, playable if there's at least one Tripolitan Tripol frigate in the harbor of Tripoli, which is not happening right now. Okay, they, they only have Corsairs. 
Um, playable if there are triple in the... Okay, nope. That is not playable. Okay, so I'm going to discard this one. Uh, this one is Corsairs Confiscated. Playable if there are triple, uh, Tripolitan Corsairs in the Harbor Gibraltar. There, there are none, so we're just going to discard that. So I should have two, four, six, eight. Okay, glad you might take my eight cards. We have unlocked those ships. We are in round, or, yeah, round two, folks. Okay. Uh, so. Do we have an assault on? No, we don't. Okay. Wow, maybe we should, let, let's go, uh, let's go fight. Yeah. Spring. Thank you, Sackfish. Um, let's let, let's get into some fighting here, folks, because we do want to try to get a frigate into um, Alexandria by the end of this year. So what we're gonna do is uh, move. Um, we have three six. I sort of you want to. I want to sort of move. Wait for Jefferson, but I almost feel like this is a good time to move ships. Uh, to the act, harbor of an active ally. Oh, okay. Not active. Uh, playable in fall 1805 or later. Okay, move Alexander. One, Chipotle. Okay. This one would be cool. Uh, roll one die and apply the result. Raiders of failure. Nothing. Three to four, one Corsair is sunk. Five to six. Oh, a frigate is sunk. Okay. Um, so maybe we should wait on that till they make a frigate. Um, okay, so save those. This one's fall or later. Play during a novel. Oh, okay. Okay, we are going to... I think we're going to battle. Yeah, so I've got to discard a... Move a there was a rule about... Okay, so I don't have the... Oh, I do! Okay, 1805, though. Ah. This one here, playable in the fall of 1805. So we got three more rounds. Move all American frigates and gunboats to the harbor of Tripoli. Move Hammett's army from Benghazi to Tripoli and or play send in the Marines. Result. So that's basically we're going to try to win the game right there. So let's wait on that. I want to get all these ships. So we got three, six, get eight of those. Then we build up a bunch of gunboats and just rush Tripoli. Okay, why don't we wait on that, folks? Let's, let's wait. Um, so we've got to build the army in this year. Then we do the assault here. Okay. So what do we do for now? Move three to an active ally of Tripoli. <clears throat> okay. We can, we can make another boat. Yeah. Why don't we make another boat? Okay. Move him from Derny to Benghaz. Benghaz. Okay. We can always launch the Intrepid. What What the heck? It's the end game with a military victory card. Yeah. We can always do this because if we get three or four, we sink a Corsair. If we do a five or six, a frigate is sunk. But if there's no frigate, we can take down uh, two Corsairs. We'll just do that. Okay. So I'll do that. Uh, we are rolling one die. Whoops. Ah, oh, that would have been nice. Five. Uh, frigate is sunk or no frigate. Two Corsairs. Ha ha. Do, 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 do. And this one is discarded out of the game. And now it is this guy's turn of Tripolitan. Okay, that is not playable. Uh, played in 1803. Nope. So we, again, we go to the Corsair check. Oh, okay, so this is no longer valid. If there are five or more Corsairs, there are only two. So we go to the next card. This is another one we don't discard. Raid or build. If a harbor has at least three Corsairs, it does not. So... Oh, you know what we did? I forgot to do. My bad. This one, I should have played it in the last one. If a Tripolitan pirate raid has been successful, place one Corsair in the harbor. So they actually get one back, and then this is removed from the game. Okay. These are the battle cards. These come into play if uh, during a successful, or during a battle. And then these are the actions. So now we go to their deck, and we just draw the top one and see if it applies. Uh... Corsairs raid. Pirate raid with all Corsairs from the harbor of Tunis. Nothing in Tunis, so we just discard. And the um, 
the the T bot doesn't uh, reshuffle or anything. They just play a card straight up. Now, now you have three, which triggers that last card in the top row. Oh, if there are really, if a harbor. Oh, okay, yeah, my bad. Okay, so we're gonna put that one back. Thanks, Slackfish. If a harbor, I I missed uh, Tripoli. I was just thinking it was the other ones. Has at least three Corsairs. Yep, you're right because the thing. I had more Corsairs than Americans in the corresponding naval zone. So they have more here, three. Oh, no, so we don't, right? Yep, fails the second test. Okay. So now we do do this card. Uh, pirate raid, and but there's no pirates to raid, so we just discard it. And they do nothing, I believe, right? Let me just make sure. Um, discard a card to build a... If... We'll draw from it and perform Raider build instead. Oh, the Raider build is... Okay. Okay, check rule book for requirements. So that was the Tunisian um, Corsair's Raid, which is... Doesn't have anything. Oh, here. Discard and perform a Raid or build action. Please note that is not possible. That is possible to Raid with, for example, Azure by discarding... Raid to raid to build. Oh, okay. So, excuse me. So does it that mean I get to raid? That's a weird. Um, let me get the other help sheet that I have here. Thanks for sticking around, folks. Um, so we have the Tunisian Corsairs raid, which is here. Tunisian Corsair raid. Hey, speaking of raid, we have a raid coming in. Welcome, I mean, Meepleville, with all kinds of people. Thank you, Meepleville. Oh, boy. Let me put on... Hey, I'm going to put on the raiding helmet for y'all. Whoops. There's the raiding helmet. Thank you, Meepleville, for the raid. I hope your Wednesday meetup went well. That is the more the meeples, the merrier. Thank you for joining me. My name is Ruel Gaviola. This is Rolling... Where's the... There it is. Rolling with Ruel. Um, I play games here Monday through Thursdays at 7 p.m. Pacific. Uh, here on Twitch, and you can find me all over the internet. Um, I write, I do podcasts, I do videos. One of the videos that just came out um, was with, uh, it's a Kickstarter video. You can check it out, uh, me and Becca Scott. We talk about the latest Kickstarter projects that you can consider backing, really cool stuff. Want to thank you all. Hello, William Wolf, thank you for joining us. Lobby of Hobbies is in the house. Dead Last Again, Hornets. Uh, let's go, Carol. Oh, let's go, Carol is here. Thanks. Uh, Pantry Games. Hi, Pantry. Andy, thank you. Yeah, oh, the Shores of Tripoli. Are you playing solo? I am playing solo. I am in the second year right now. Uh, Crystal's in the house. Hi, Crystal's. So good to see you all over there. Uh, yeah, love you, Javi. My boy. Um, Crystal, Pantry. Dead Last Again is in the house. Tommy Miller Jr. Hi, Tommy. And uh, I said hi to Dead Last Again. Dead Last Again. Always good to see you here, friend. Uh, yeah, I'm... Thankful for you uh, for the raid. I appreciate it. I've got the raiding hat. I'm going to take it off for uh, Tim and all of y'all there. And Slackfish has gifted five subs. Folks, that, oh my gosh. Thank you, Slackfish. We do analog alerts here on my channel, folks. If you're here for the first time, we do this. We have an alert. Alert, we have five new gift subs. Thanks again to our amazing supporter and friend, Slackfish. Thank you, Slackfish. And whenever there's a gift sub here, folks, we do the gift, 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 gift. Gift, 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 gift. The gift song. Thank you, Slackfish. That's the gift hat. That is my hat off to you, friend. Uh, thank you for the support. And thank you, friends. If it's your first time here, hang out. We just chill, play games. Uh, we talk about the food we eat, the drinks we drink, and just have a good time and chill out here. Uh, thank you so much. Yes, gift, gift, gift. Um, that is aggressively analog. Yes, it is, uh, F Fish. Thank you for noticing. Hi, Steph Raccoon. Good to see you here. Uh, yeah, Slackfish rocking those subs as always. Uh, Ambie's going to lurk. Thank you, uh, Ambie, for the lurk. Appreciate it. Grizzly Diz is in the house. Grizzly Diz, I did, um, I know we've got some things we could take care of. I did email who I need to email. Hopefully you'll hear from them soon, but thank you for your patience, friend. Um, James is in the house. Yes, James, I think James was here earlier, yeah? Okay. Um, yeah, let me use the force. Whoop. Oh, by the way, I'm going to use the force again. Team Dead Camera, folks, I don't know if you saw it. If you're new to the channel, this is something it has been going on since I started streaming here on um, uh, Twitch, where my phone, I use it for uh, my little green screen. Uh, actually, I've used it before for just the table shot here. Now I use it for the green screen, but 
it would always die. So we have hashtag Dean ca dead camera, team dead camera. And hey, Slackfish has cheered 100 bits. If you don't know, now you know that anytime you spend bits, I come out of hibernation. Hello, friends. I am Benny the Bits Bear. Anytime you spend bits, Ruel has to ruin his voice and say hello to you. Hello, friends. Welcome to the channel. Enjoy your stay. We are playing the Shores of Tripoli. <laughs> so silly. Thank you uh, for spending the bits like this. Whoop. Uh, Benny and the bits. Bits. Everybody now. Bits. 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 Dun, 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 dun. Hornus, thank you. Um, this is the Shores of Tripoli. It's a war game, a very accessible war game from Fort Circle Games. Um, it's a card-driven game, so we are playing cards one at a time. I'm playing against the T-Bot, the uh, Tripoli bot. We call him T-Bot. That's his uh, nickname. Um, the Americans' forces are represented here. The blue, the yellow Swedes are our allies, as well as the Arab army, the whites. And the uh, Tripolitan uh, players and allies are here, uh, the reds and the oranges. Um, what we're trying to do, they are pirates, and they have four gold. If they get 12 gold, they have won the game. That's immediate. What we're trying to do as Americans, we either want to take over Tripoli, or we want to, um, there's a couple of win conditions we have. Uh, there's a certain card that we play. If we meet conditions, by it's like by year, by where our ships are and everything else, we win that way. Um, if we get to 1806 and neither is one, it's a, it's a tie. Um, there's there's also a peace treaty card that we can play if we can you know get them to sign uh, the peace treaty and we install a new um, government then the game is over as well. Thank you, Slackfish. Um, I like the use of the force. Thank you, Let's Go Carol. Yeah, I've been I've been practicing that um, this entire time we've been on Twitch. <laughs> um, okay, so there's the rules. Um, what were we doing? We were looking at. Oh, we were checking if they could play the pirate raid here okay so pirate raid with all corsairs from the harbor of tunis which they could not but we're trying to check if we still if we can still do it according to the rule book um discard to perform a raid or build action okay so we do do this action and again i don't think we're going to be able to do it if a harbor has at least oh no we do have at least three corsairs and more corsairs than american and sweet nope okay raid from that harbor Otherwise, place a Tripolitan Corsair in the harbor. Okay, so basically they just get to build another one. One, two, three. so they have four now. Okay. So that's the end of their turn. This card remains. Those are one of two cards that don't leave. And then it's back to my turn. We are in the summer of 1802. Um, and let's see. I want to move those um, these out here to Alexandria, just because the strategy guide said we should have at least one uh, frigate to get to Alexandria. Oh, by the end of eighteen oh three, we still have another year. Okay, so by the end of eighteen oh three, then we can create Hammett's um, army uh, during the spring of eighteen oh four. That's when we can start bringing out the Marines and the uh, Arab infantry. Uh, this one's 1805 or later. Move Hammett's army. General, okay, move Hammett from Alexandria. Move uh, from Duran. Okay, so we're going to save those. Um, uh, that one I want to save. Place at the, playable at the end of the start of the land battle. Okay, play. What about this one? Uh, playable during a naval battle in harbor. Each American frigate may roll three dice instead of two. Play during the assault on Tripoli. Roll, only roll the extra dice in the first round of the naval battle. So we do have that assault. But that's eighteen oh five. Yeah, I feel like we should. Um, yeah, Psychos, you're. I, I swear you're reading my mind. We can bombard right, uh, Derna or Benghazi, uh, Benghazi, Be Benghazi. So I think we're gonna go. Uh, let's move. So I got to discard a card. Um. Uh, show force move through. Uh, okay. I'm going to discard the show of force. That way it'll come back to us. We're going to go here. Um, let's go to Derna. General Eaton's attack. Move up to three. Playable in the fall. Later move. move. Okay. We'll go here. Derna. 
And I think on the move, let me make sure. I'm pretty sure we can move the Malta ship uh, from uh, that to... Oh, hold on a second. There's a, there's a pug knocking on the door. Hey, Bruno. You want to come in here? No? Okay. Oh, he's knocking on the door. Do you want to come in? Come on, Bruno. No? He just wants to scratch on the door. I don't know what's going on. He doesn't want to come into the house. Or, I mean, the, the room. Okay, so where is, when a card is discarded to build a gunboat, the... Okay, it takes one go up. But I could have sworn there was something where you can move uh, Malta ships. Oh, they may join a battle for free. Okay. So, oh, Herb's Begamut. Thanks for taking Bruno for a walk. You've redeemed 500 Bruno points. Appreciate it. Dreams1324 is in the house. Thank you for joining me. There goes Bruno's walk. Thank you, Herb, for walking my, my pug. So, if when they battle, it doesn't say... Okay, yeah, you know, it's, it's bombardment. So, they're moving. So, Malta moves there as well. Think when you discard a card you can only move two frigates. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Thank you. Two frigates, but then the Malta one joins because we're in battle now. So we're going to bombard folks. So bombardment is basically when the ships are firing on the infantry units. Uh, bombard, roll two dice. Uh, two per frigate, one per gunboat. So we've got two, four, five. Okay. And they are going to hit on six. And then move all American boats to Malta. Okay. Five or six. Yeah. Five, six. What's this one? And a six. Three. So we've eliminated three infantry. And then all our boats go back to Malta. Okay. That's much better. That's how I like to roll. Okay. Uh, so that's... Um, oh, no. One more. And then we go to the fall. Okay. So two, four, six... And we just, again, do we have four Corsairs here. Playable for Hammond's Army. Nope. Playable 1803. Nope. If there are four or five or more. Nope. There are four. And then we go to this one. If a harbor triply has at least three Corsairs and more Corsairs than American. Nope. Otherwise, place a Corsair in the car harbor. Okay. So we get another Corsair. Now we go to the fall of 1802. Okay. So now we can... Hmm. <laughs> I really want I, I think we need to take over a Derna I, I want to wipe them out because move from Azern move okay move from Derna so this is uh, when Hammett's army one place in the city of Alexandria okay so we can slowly move them over there okay uh, let us go to yep now they have five which will trigger a raid yep nice so we're going to move, again, um, I'm going to discard playable during a naval battle, uh, playable at the start of the land battle, burn the Philadelphia, there's at least one trouble in the, okay, I'm going to discard this to move this here, <coughs> we're going to finish off Derna, uh, so I brew those two there, and then because it's a battle of Malta, our gunner ship joins the, the party. So we have another five dice, two each and one. Uh, they're going to hit, was it five or, or a six? All we need is one six, folks. Come on, six. Ugh. Well, wait, what is that other one? Nope. Bunch of low ones. So it fails. Whoop. Stupid infantry. Okay, so now it's their turn. This, no, 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 no. Oh, wait, if there are five or more. Yep, you're right. So now we do this card here. Five more Corsairs. There are five. Uh, do a raid. And do not discard. Uh, the raid is, uh, we first are do our interception roll, two per player, or two for ship, two, four, six, and two, four, ten dice total. And, oops, uh, six destroys Corsair. We uh, got one, darn it, just one six, really? One six, folks. Boo earns. Okay. Consistency, right? <laughs> okay, now um, they get to roll, try to get um, money. Two, four. Is it five or six? It is. Five or six gets them the coins. No fives, no sixes. Ugh, two sixes. Darn it. So they're halfway to their goal of uh, getting gold. 
Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure there is a card in there where you they can you can return gold back to the supply. Uh, we haven't drawn it yet. So now we're in the winter. This is the last uh, turn of the 1802 round. Hmm. I, I we we gotta we gotta clear this out, right? Let's clear it out. Um, what am I gonna? So I'm moving two, and then this one joins the battle. Um, I'm gonna discard away. These these are staying there. Um, move Hammett from Alexandria to Derna. I'll move Hammett from Bayside to Tripoli. Playable spring Alexandria. Okay. During the we roll three dice instead of two. Okay, I'm gonna discard this one uh, in order to move, and then we're gonna do the uh, the old rolls here. Two, four, five. We need a six. Come on, one six, folks. Get me there one time. Ugh, nope, nothing. Boo earns. Okay, frustrating. Okay, now we go here. They don't have four or five, so we don't do that. We're gonna build, right? Yep. So now they have five for the next round. That's it. That is the end of that round, folks. We go to spring. We go 1803. This gets unlocked. And we draw six more cards. I have four right now. So I'm going to draw six. And I have to discard down to eight, three, four, five, six. Thanks again for hanging out, folks. This is the Shores of Tripoli. Excuse me. Ah, I was just talking about this card. I just drew it. Constantinople demands tribute. Metropolitan player must return two gold coins to the supply. Slackfish, your frigates are whiffing more often than the LA Dodgers. Hey, come on now. They are the 2020 World Series champions. Um, let's see. Ooh, naval movement. Okay. Keep those. Early deployment going for the following year. The Oh, that's sort of cool. Yeah, why don't we do that? Okay, that one's we're keeping. This one we're discarding. Ah! I just pulled the treaty card. Treaty. So, playable if 1805 or later, fall, cities of Algiers, Tangier, and Tunis are all at peace, which they are. The city of Dern has been captured, and there are no Tripolitan frigates in the harbor of Tripoli. Game ends immediately. U.S. victory. So we've got two of those insta-victory ones. This is the victory um, one here. 1805 or later, move all frigates and gunboats to the harbor. Move Hammett's army from Benghazi to Tripoli and or play send in the Marines. Resolve the assault. I sort of like that one. That one I feel like that's the one we got to go out on. But we've still got two years to go. I've got four, six, seven, eight. I can probably get rid of that peace treaty one. What do you think? Um, this one I'm going to get rid of. Oh, wait. I've got eight cards. Okay. I just had to. Okay. I discarded those. Okay. Cool. Cool. No, I don't want to. Okay, so I had these two. Um, take one American. I want to keep that from Alexandria to Dern. Yeah, play during that. Okay, so that one we don't need, right? Uh, move Hammett's army from Dern to Benghazi. So it's like we have to play this. Playable if it's 1803 or 4 or later. Okay. Hmm. So I've got ten cards. I gotta remove two. Moving we try all the corsairs from harbor to the supply. So this is tribute paid. Move one American frigate to the harbor of an active ally of Tripoli. Return all the corsairs from the harbor, but the Tripoli player, Tripolitan player, receives two gold. Hey, we got a new follower. Is that F Fish? It looks like F Five Fish. Uh, F Five Fish. Anytime there's a new follow. Speaking of fish. Felicia the follow fish shows up. Felicia swims around, says hello, welcomes new followers, and then she takes off. And all of us, including chat, we all say, bye, Felicia. Thanks for the follow, F5, F fish with a five. Thank you for following. Appreciate you hanging out. We're going to go back to the game. This is the Shores of Tripoli. Whoop. Bye, Felicia's in the chat. Thank you. Just, uh, just pronounce fish. Thank you, five, or fish. <laughs> okay. Um, so I need to discard down to uh, eight cards. So I want to move this. 
one, discard this, and then I'm gonna discard. I don't know. I don't know if that peace treaty is gonna happen. But if we can we capture, how do we capture Derna? We have a combat movement. Okay. Um, so I've got a movement card here that I can use, which is nice because it allows me to do more than one. I want to play this early deployment because I get another ship. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll remove that tribute paid. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, you'd send Harm uh, Hammett's army there. Thank you. Um, I'm going to start with this. I am going to do early deployment. So take one American frigate from the following year on the year turn track and place it on any naval patrol zone. So this is the following year. We're going to take this. Hey, look, in Tripoli. Okay, so that goes there. Uh, so then I have five, and we are going to do that uh, raid, the Corsair check. So uh, five, we're going to do a pirate raid but because they have five ships there. But now we have extra dice to intercept. So two, four, six, eight, and then two, four. Okay. Got 12 dice. We need a, was it six to destroy some Corsairs? Come on, sixes. <laughs> oh, uh, friends, uh, we did not roll a six. Okay, great. Not one six. It's like a miracle, I think. All right, well, one tar. I keep trying to fave your videos and it's just un it is just unfollowing. Oh, no. Thanks for joining us, uh, one tar. T, uh, I don't know what was it? if you hit on a three, they'd be uh, wiped out. Yeah, right, uh, Slackfish? Your dice, yeah. As uh, our family plays games, um, Mick and Starla would say, they would say, um, the dice ain't nice. Um, okay, let me move these here. So, I whiffed. Uh, now, the Corsairs, they get to perform a pirate raid. So, one, two, three, four, five. Five or six get some coins. Oh, no. They've got six coins already. And, okay, cool, cool. They, I, I rolled just like I rolled for myself. Okay. Yeah, T, um, Twitch has been weird lately. Like, I've, had, I've been having trouble with the raid function on my end. And, yeah, I'm sure it's, I, I'm sure it's all related. Um, okay, so that's the end of their turn. They Thankfully, they didn't uh, get any more coins. We are in the summer of 1803. Um, I am going to... I'm worried about those coins, so what I'm, I'm just going to play Constantinople demands tribute. Uh, they must return two gold coins to the supply. One, two. Okay, get back down to four. Now their turn, they're going. They have their five there, so we're going to do the interception thing. Hopefully, three, four, five. So eight and four. Okay, here we go, folks. Come on, six. Really? Come on. Folks, what is going on here? Not one six, really? This is... Oh, what a bummer. What a bummer. Wow, I can't believe that. Not one six again. That's twice in a row. Folks, time for a new dice tray. Yeah, right, Slackfish? All right, let's do... They've got their five. Uh, boo urns. Now, they get gold coins five or six. Ugh, they, okay, they got two gold coins. They got the two I just swiped from them. Okay. All right. Uh, it is the fall of 1803. Oh, man. Do we... Let's, let's go to battle. Uh, we can bombard. Oh, we got to move. We got to move. Because I need, to, I need uh, a frigate in Alexandria um, by the end. By the end of this year. So we can play the... Uh, Create Hammett's army. Uh, what is movement? Movement because uh, I move to a friendly uh, discard. I got to move at least one. Yeah, totally right, James. I, I was thinking that, that's so funny. Yeah, total like Games Workshop fistful of dice. Uh, where is the movement section? So movement, if I move, uh, can I move to more than one harbor? at a time because I have this card I'm gonna I'll show you the card I'm gonna play um, this here I want to move a play naval movement move up to four frigate uh, four American frigates resolve any battles that result 
I want to move one to Alexandria so we can get ready to build Hammett's army. But I also want to start fighting over here. So I don't know if that's going to, if that, if that is uh, the way it goes or not. Uh, movement, movement, naval combat, ground combat. Movement combat. Fears are moved to no further action. Move to the harbor. It has enemy ships. But the city contains. Uh, we do a naval bombardment. We have frigates to bombard. Okay. If American frigates. Okay, if American frigates are moving to multiple locations, the gunboats may be allocated as the American player wishes. Oh, if, it's, if moving frigates to bombard a city. Huh. Sounds like you could move the frigates to separate zones. That's right. So I've got four of them. I discard that because I've used it and it stays in the game. Uh, so we're going to do four. We're going to move from Gibraltar to Dern. And then we're going to put one in Alexandria, another one in Malta, and then the gunner is, follows here. So we have a fistful of dice to take over Dern. Yeah. And uh, Alexandria is going to stay there for the next round so we can uh, build the army. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, so we got two, four, six, seven dice. Come on. If I don't hit a six here, come on, folks. Really? But why not? Bang you know what? You're right. You know, I don't know why I'm doing that, Sackfish. Yeah, we're going Benghazi. Benghazi. Okay. Uh, six. All right. More like it. One, two, three. Boom. Three units destroyed. Yay. Yep. Have to take that. You're, you're totally right. I don't know why I was so intent on cleaning that out so these go back to malta that's the end of that turn uh now we check here we're going to do the raid uh, but first the interception so let's see those dice two four six eight two four okay yeah absolutely sackfish okay come on six Not one six in there, huh? Oh, is there one? Is it under? Okay. Thank you, Slackfish. Thanks, Herb, for hanging out. Appreciate it, friend. So I got one of the Corsairs. Okay. Have a good night, friend. Okay. Uh, that's that. We are going to the winter of 1803 now. Um, might as well just wipe those out, right? I can... Okay. So spring, yeah, because we're gonna start uh, creating. We're gonna start the land attack pretty soon. Pretty soon. Okay. Oh, I didn't roll for the corsair raid. Thank you. Uh, one, two, three, four. Right. I was laughing so hard about the uh, um thing. I forgot. Okay, one gold point. So they got seven gold now. Just head back over and saw you back at turn for sure. Game back. <laughs> uh, Victor, I keep rolling. I, I need to roll sixes, and I'm rolling like a fistful, like twelve dice. I didn't. I rolled one six. Yeah, just one of those. Uh, one of those. Uh, the dice ain't nice moments. Okay, so my final turn of the winter. Uh, um, in winter of eighteen oh three, um, I really want to save these three cards for my next round because it's all about that. Um, when can I go for the uh, attack? Okay, so I've got a full year to go. Okay. Uh, from Dern to Merganzi. Alexandra to Dern. Okay, so at least one Marine. Okay, so we're going to go that way. We're going to save that. Oh, man. Assault. I'm going to give up this peace treaty because we're going to see it again. We may check it out later. Holy cow, that's some hex you got with them, right? Okay, so I'm going to move. Uh, we're going to move two ships. Uh, Miles will try to clear out this. Uh, this one's going to join the battle. Two, four, five. All I need is one six. Come on, one six. Is that a six? Nope. Just in time, uh, Victor, for the uh, non-rolling of sixes. These guys go back. So that's the end of my turn. Uh, so we do have four there, so we're going to build. Yep. They got one here. Okay, end of the year. We are now in 1804. All ships have been unlocked. I'm going to draw six cards. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, which is the last. So next round we're going to reshuffle. Um, and I need to discard down to, let's see, I have four now, so I get to add four more. Oh, look at this one. Bainbridge supplies intel. Take any card from the American discard pile and either place it in hand or play immediately. Well, we're saving that one. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we're sending, are we going to send in the Marines? Playable if Assault on Tripoli is the active event card this turn. Place three Marine units. In. So, yeah, we're, we're going for the Assault, folks. So, saving that one. We have the Assault. We're going to create, yeah, this is going to be a big turn. This could be it. Um, this one as well. Playable if Hammett's Army has been created. Place two additional Arab infantry with Hammett's Army. Yeah, we're loading up. Loading up. Okay, discarding this one because we don't have that card. Um, I can keep one of these. They are the same, just naval movements. Move up to four. Uh, burn field offer or launch the Intrepid? Nope, those aren't in. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Spring, 1804. <clears throat> Hi, Panda. All right, Hammett's Army created. Playable if Spring, 1804, layer, and there's at least one American frigate. Hey, look, remember that? We did it, Slackfish. Uh, in the harbor of Alexandria, place one marine and one and five Arab infantry in the city of Alexandria, and this goes out of the game. So one U.S. marine and five Arab infantry. Woohoo! Panda, thanks for stopping by. I know you had a, a good night there over there on Meepleville's Wednesday night get together. It's really nice to see you and everyone else um, chatting about all things. I'm gonna watch the VOD after after this. Uh, one Marine, five... Okay, cool. This has been removed from the game. So we are getting ready to march into Tripoli, folks. Uh, but let's do... Man, they've got seven coins. They get 12 coins, they win. Uh, so, okay. Now we have to look at this. Constantinople sends a playable of Hammett's army has captured Dern. Okay, we haven't done that yet. That's not yet. That's probably next turn. Oh. I forgot about this one. Uh, Sweden plays sure playable if it's 1803 or later. I should have done this last turn, but oh well. Uh, Swedish frigates in naval patrol zone return the Swedish frigates to the supply. I received two gold coins. Ooh, yeah, that that would have affected things. Shoot, eight nine three left. Oh, Mapleville did a height a level five height trade. That's awesome. Well done. Okay, I probably yeah that probably should have gone off earlier, but hey, it's a learning game, right? Okay, we are in the summer now. Um, all right. So we got to start marching down. I didn't roll any six. Yeah, that's right. Uh, move Hammett's army from Alexandria to Durham. Move uh, up to three American frigates to the harbor of Durham. Resolve the battle for Durham. Up to three. So one, two, three, and the gunboat follows. So we got a fistful of dice versus this one infantry. I'm rolling all the dice because I, I know how bad I roll. So two for each frigate, two, four, six, one for a gunboat, and then one for each military unit. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All the hugs. Thank you. Uh, if I ever start with Twitch, I'm teaching her to teach me moderate. I can pay lots of virtual hugs. Love you, Hobbies. You need to be on Twitch, brother. We'd love to have you on here. Amanda's the best. Oh, just the bombard first. That's right. Duh. I'm so excited about that. Darn it. Okay. Two, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you're right, Slackfish. I was so excited. Okay. Bombard. Uh, got a hit with a six, and we take out that one infantry. Oops. Did I not roll a six again? I did not roll a six. Oh my gosh. Okay. So no bombardment. Now we go to uh, ground combat. Okay. Announce if battle cards are going to be played. This is where I want to... Um, this is going to be played as... Nope, that's not the one. The active card is general. Okay. So we've done this. That's out of the game. Okay. Uh, playable during naval battle. No, I don't want to do that. Not yet.
okay. Take it, okay, no. Okay, I'm not gonna, okay, so we're just gonna battle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, four, six. Okay, need a six, come on. There it is, finally! Wow, only one six, folks. So I got that, and then I'm assuming they get their last, hit. they get the one one chance to hit. I mean, they're, they're dead anyways, but let's see if, uh, it'll probably be a six, no, a four, okay. So this is done, boom, captured, woo! Okay, so Durin is captured. Uh, that's that's uh, yeah, that, that's it. So now we go to uh, this one here. Okay, and this comes into play. This is the their turn. Playable if Amit's army has captured Durin. Place two Tripolitan frigate and two or one frigate and two corsairs in the harbor of Tripoli. Place two infantry. Okay, so they're. They're shoring up the defense. So here comes their first frigate. And then two Corsairs. One. Two. And then two infantry. So yeah, they're they're loading up here. So they've got six infantry and a frigate and two, four, six, seven Corsairs. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a big one. Okay. So now the fall. Uh we're marching. We're marching, folks. Um General Eaton attacks Benghazi. Benghazi. Uh, move Hammett's army from Dern to Benghazi. So, doop. Move the three frigates to the harbor of Benghazi. So, one, two, three. And again, the gunner comes along. Resolve the battle for Benghazi. Benghazi. I, I can't say it. Um, yeah. Okay. That's done. All your ships in Durin should be back in Malta. Oh, that's right. Thank you. So they were back here, and then playing that card. Uh, move up to three frigates. So one, two, three, and then the gunner comes along, and the army is there. So now we do naval bombardment. So two, four, six, seven. Four, six. Daryl Andrews in the house. Hi, Daryl. We are playing The Shores of Tripoli, a war game from our friends at Fort Circle Games. Uh, we are in 1804. Uh, we are the U.S. Navy and Marines um, trying to wipe out the pirates. Um, let's see, four, five, okay. So we've got one military, we've got one ground unit. So two, four, we're doing bombardment first. Six dice, we need a six to hit. Did I not roll a six? I did not roll a six again, oh my gosh. Wow, this is a terrible. Okay, so that's the bombardment phase. Now, um, these all go away. They're going back to Malta. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six dice. Need a six against the one here. Come on, let's get a six, folks. God, that was so bad. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna roll their one. It's probably a six here. One, no, okay. Ambi says, I played this two player and lost from the not rolling sixes. Yeah, right? Love the wide board. Is that typical war games? No, this is um, again. I'm not the biggest war game fan. I don't think this is this is typical. But I, I think of Twilight Struggle. Twilight Struggle's got a humongous board. It's like three times the size, right? Um, so I don't. I really. If anyone is a war game fan, well, please let us know. I, I'd, I'd love to know that as well. So I whiffed. They whiffed. We continue ground combat, folks. Uh, ground com uh, Naval combat is one round. Ground combat goes until uh, no one's remaining. So two, four, uh, six, right? Yeah, six. Yeah, it's a beautiful layout. Absolutely. And love me some dice too, Daryl. There's my six, finally. There's a six. Is there none? Okay. So that, that one's going to die, but they get their last hit. Get their last ups. Nothing. Okay, bye-bye. Benghazi, Benghazi is mine. ba ba da da Okay, um, I discarded that card. Uh, here. See. Yep, discard. Lobby of Hobbies, spend it, you guys. Let me know the day and game there. I'm always down. Yeah, absolutely. Really looks good on the table. It's a nice clean. Agreed. And I think this is an introductory war game. I got a review copy. That's, yeah, totally like, like I, the only other war game I've played that I, oh, I played like 1775 um, Rebellion. Um, also played Twilight Struggle. 
Rebellion was definitely introductory. I think it's a little, e it was easier than this one, actually. This is, I would say, introductory still. But Twilight Struggle definitely, uh, have, for me, a heavier war game. Um, okay, so now their turn. Uh, if there are four or five or more Corsairs, there is. So they're going to do a raid. Uh, I get an uh, in interception check first. So two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Slackfish. Apparently, Panda's all in the coin games now. <laughs> okay. So, interception. Was that six? I have to get a six or a five. Oh, six. Yeah. John Saul is basically the only war game designer I've tried games of. Come on, six. Hey, there's a couple of sixes. Look at that. Boom, boom. Okay. Two of those Corsairs go down. Is there anything else I need to check for there? Nope. Okay. All right. Two of the Corsairs are gone, which is good because if they are successful in this raid, oh my gosh, they have three. If they get those three coins, folks, the game is over. They're rolling one, two, three, four, five, and they hit on a five or six. Oh no. Do I have any cards here that I can play? Take any card. Um, oh my gosh. No. Okay. Five. Okay, one. Okay, they got one coin. Woo! -hoo! Close. So they are two coins away from victory. Heard great things about Cuba Libre. Yeah, same here. Um, I just I backed uh, at GMT. I well, I, I did the like P five hundred for a game called uh, People Power, um, which I cannot wait for it to come out. It was it's delayed been been delayed by a year, but it's basically a uh, game set in the Philippines about the rise of uh, Corazon Aquino uh, when she did, you know, people power, when she took over the, you know, took over the government uh, away from Marcos. It was like right after her husband um, was uh, assassinated, then the rise of people power. And that, that game looks so awesome. And I've talked to the designer a couple times, tried to get interviews with him, but he's just like, he's had some health issues um, and they've had to push the game back. But I know it's in, I think it's at the art production phase. So probably... Hopefully, fingers crossed, by the end of this year, we'll get that out. Um, yeah, super excited for it. Um, okay, so what did I do? I just did their raid. They got their coins. It's winter. Final turn for me. <laughs> We're going to go for it, folks. We're going to go all out. Okay. Victory or death. Playable and only. Oh, that's next year. Darn it. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. Okay, so next round. Okay. So we're saving that. We got to take out some of these Corsairs. Ooh. Why don't we do this? Okay. I'm going to play this. Uh, Supplies Intel. Um, take any card from the American discard pile and either place it in the hand or play it immediately. Uh, Sackers, you better move some frigates to the harbor. Yeah, so the frigates, I've got a card saved for that. Um, uh, my naval movement card is going to get them all there um, next turn. Or maybe, you know what, you're right. Maybe I should move them now to so try to intercept. Because the, I was my reasoning was if I do this, I can get that card that returns two of the coins to the supply. But I think I like the your move better, Slackfish. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, uh, naval movement. Uh, play, move up to four frig frigates. Resolve any battles that result. Um, sea Raptor, you definitely need to increase your odds of interception. Correct. Thank you, Sea Raptor. Um, okay, so naval movement. We're moving four here. Okay. That's gone. Uh, now they're going to do their Corsair check. Uh, there are five of these, but first we do an intercept. So two, we got all of them, right? Should be all of them. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, eight. So we're rolling 16 dice. That should be all these and all these. We need sixes, folks. If we get all, you know, come on. Everybody, wish me luck. I, I want to hit these sixes. I'll blow on the dice. Oh, hey, you know what? Just for luck, I'm going to wait a second. We have two new followers. I want to thank... Hey, Craptastics. 
craptastic74. Thank you for the follow. Poly people, thank you for the follow. If you're new here, my name is Ruel Gaviola. This is Rolling with Ruel. Um, I play board games here on Twitch Monday through Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific, and we do analog alerts. So anytime there's a new follower, we bring out Felicia the Followfish. Felicia swims around, says hello, and greets everyone, and then she takes off. And all of us, well, me, usually it's Michelle and Lauren are here, but what I say and everyone in chat says is, bye, Felicia. Thanks for the follow, Polly people, and craptastic74. Great username, by the way. There's all the bye, Felicias in the chat. Thank you, friends. Um, Polly people, much love to you. Thank you. And craptastic74, I'm going to laugh every time I say your name, friend. <laughs> I'm going to use the force. Whoop. We are back. Back to lurking now. Oh, thanks, Ambi. I'm rolling a fistful of dice, folks. We need sixes. I would love to have five sixes. Here we go. Big roll. Come on, sixes. Okay, I see two of them. One, two. Oh, there's a third. Is there any more over here that I miss? No. Okay, three sixes. Not, I mean, I wanted them all to be sixes. Yeah, no, no other ones. But we are going to dust those three. Oh, they still have a shot at this, though. This is what's scary. If they get two fives or two sixes, the game is over because they've looted all of our treasure gold. So one die per, they hit her a five or six. Okay, one and four. Cool, cool, cool. Gold stays. We are good. Okay, winter is over. Spring, 1805. Our big assault on Tripoli is coming up, folks. Um, I draw, hey, I reshuffle. 1805, shuffle, discard, pop, yep. It's 1806 where you get to go through all your cards. But 1805, okay. I still have the Thomas Jefferson card, but that's, no, that's, that's not going to play. Move up to eight American frigates. Resolve any battles. Okay. Yeah, we we're gonna we're gonna take Tripoli, folks. We're gonna try. This is it. Victory or death. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have five cards. I'm gonna discard three of these. Okay. Okay, this one's definitely getting discarded. Uh, this one's discarded. Wait, wait. Okay, that one's discarded for sure. That one's discarded. Okay. All right, so when can we play that um, fall of 18? Oh, we got to wait two more rounds. Oh, my gosh. So we've got we to gotta wait two, two rounds and begin the assault on Tripoli. Okay. Okay. Uh, check comments real quick. Victory or death? Hashtag yep. That's right. Hey, I don't know. Uh, friends, uh, Manny, do you see this one? Team Dead Camera from Daryl? Uh, let's see. In other words, it's hard. Yeah. Hosel is interesting, but I think the Tripolitan player is much more dynamic when they're played by a person. Yeah, it seems like it would be because, I mean, we're just going down the row of events here, right? And we haven't even touched. We've touched this deck like a, just a couple of times. So uh, play with the, you know, play with the start of a land battle. Oh, you know what? I probably forgot these here. Oh my gosh, I forgot to play the, a couple of these battle cards. Well, this one's never come up. This one is going to come up. Yeah, okay, I, I blew it, Slackfish. There, there's a couple of cards I should have played. Okay, I'll bring those on board. So these are going to stay here. Okay. Still, it's just going to make it harder for me. Okay, 1805. We've got to get to the fall, and then we can uh, begin our assault. Um, oh, okay. Let's build up army. Uh, Hammett recruits Bedouins. Playable of Hammett's army has been created. Place two additional Arab infantry with Hammett's army. So we get two more Arabs. So our units are up to eight. And then we go here. There are none of there. Um, has it, if a harbor has at least three courses and more is in America. Nope. Otherwise, place a Tripolitan Corsair in the harbor. Okay, so this is going to go here. So was I supposed to pull another card? I don't think so. Discard a card. Not a core event. A pirate raid from Tripoli. Oh no, that's no, first play. Let me perform. Okay, 
if less than draw card and check rulebook for requirement. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been messing up. So after this check, you go to the deck, and then if you can't do it, then you go to that. Then you'll build. Okay. So that's why we haven't been going through these. Let's look at this. Phil Duffer runs around, play off there at least one American Frigate and Nova Patrol's one. Yep. Roll one die. Okay. So this is going to come play. Roll one die, and we'll apply the result. A six. That's not good. Frigate captured. Take the American Frigate as sunk. Oh, man. Oh, dang. Really? So they've captured one of the Americans. Boo earns. And then they gain one. Oh, gosh. Uh, and place one frigate. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, darn. Okay, there's Summer. Ooh. One more round to pull this off, folks. Hmm. Playable. Okay, this one I can play on the during the assault. Playable at the start of a land battle. Okay. Playable during a naval battle. Take any. Okay. I'm gonna look at the discard pile. Oh, it's oh man, the discard pile doesn't have any. Okay. Oh wait, 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 wait. Huh. Why don't we do this? I'm going to play this one. Oh, I can bombard the harbor too. Yeah, why don't we do that? Yeah. We're going to bombard, right? So bombard is... Uh, oh, it's initiated by movement, action, or event cards. And then naval combat... Initiated by movement, action, or event card. So I have to move into here. Oh my gosh. So I could just start a... Oh, the movement. Where's my movement? I can do four here. Yeah, just two frigates plus the gun. But I can do... I have a, a movement for four that I can play here. Okay. Obviously, there's a risk, but you know what? Let, let's try to soften them up. Hey, Monique, we're gonna we're gonna do it. Uh, move up to four American frigates. Resolve uh, any battles that results. So we're gonna move right into the harbor. So we're rolling. Um, that goes there. Two, four, six, eight dice hitting on sixes. Um, and then. Yeah. Do I do this? Do I waste this? Do I take this card now? Pebbles, boys, take aim. Playable during a naval battle in a harbor. Each American frigate may roll three dice instead of two. If I play it during the assault, only roll the extra dice in the first round of the battle. There are four ships we got to take out. I have two, four, six, eight dice. Wait, I'm only taking out infantry in this roll? No, I think um, because I moved in and there's uh, naval ships, naval combat. Um, yeah, the, the naval... Uh, move all boats to Malta. I think the naval combat's first and then I'd take infantry, right? Yep, okay, cool, cool. Thank you, Slackfish. All right, so I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to play this card because I have another card I can play on the Assault of Tripoli where I get extra marine units. So I want to soften them up. So we're going to do this. So three dice instead of two. So I have 12 dice. Oh, wait, wait. No, yeah, 12 dice instead of uh, eight. Okay, we need sixes, folks. All right, everybody. You're all here. Come on, blow on these dice. We need some lucky dice. Come on, sixes. I don't see one six in there. This is ridiculous. Really? Oh my god. Folks, 
I didn't roll. A, I didn't roll one six. This is crazy. What a whiff! Oh my goodness! And I even had to burn. I burned that card. Darn it! That's out of the game. Okay. Announce uh, each player two per. Oh, I had. A, I have a. I have a gunner that joins the battle for one one die. Watch this one be a six. Nope. Okay, each player, so... Oh my gosh, return sunk ships to supply. A... Okay, so they get to roll their dice. So they get two, four, and then two more for six. Oh, God. Yep. Oh my gosh. Okay, so they got five for their two frigates and um, Corsairs. There's the six. Is great. Oh my gosh. So the six is... Okay, so let me just do this first. Uh, each player allocates opposing hits to their own fleets. Uh, gunboat or Corsair is sunk with one hit. Oh, okay. Okay, there's there's a there's a order operations here. So winter... Okay, nope, that doesn't... Okay. Team 4-4. Four, four. Or winter of eighteen oh five or solemn trip first take hits to damage then otherwise sink cor okay corsair is sunk that's one and then the next one is uh, damage or sink frigates so this is damaged that goes there now the six right Morgan said oh just my luck right so do they they I know the frigates have two hit points return sunk ships to supply except Americans so they they have only sunk one. Undamaged ships go to Malta. And then the damaged one. Where's the damaged ship? Um, damaged ship. Oh, folks, we're so close. I I want to... I want to... Uh, we're so close to um, doing the big attack here. Um, Frigate has one hit left. It is considered damaged. Put, oh, following year. Okay, so we, we're going to lose it. So it is damage. It goes. It's gonna come back at the end of the year, or next year. Okay, their turn. Um, that doesn't trigger. Uh, we go to the card. Their card is second storm. Select a number patrol zone that controls a win. One American frigate, which is here. Roll. Oh my gosh. First six. So place. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're gonna roll three. Or wait. Yeah, for each one. Each American gets a die. Uh, six sinks it. Okay, one. That's good. Uh, the first six sinks. Okay, each additional it damages it. So this is damage if it's a six. Can't see it. It's a two. One. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Survived. Okay. Um, that goes away. Okay, we are in the fall. We have made it. It's time to bring begin the assault. No, even if you rolled a six on third, it would sink. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Well, thankfully we didn't. We're going to begin the assault on Tripoli. Uh, played in fall. Wait, because it would be like versus... Good night, James. Thanks for hanging out, friend. Uh, play one fall or six. Move all American frigates and gunboats to the harbor of Tripoli. Oh, this one's damaged or destroyed. Move Hammett's army from Benghazi. Benghazi here. Okay, here we go. Uh, resolve the assault. Okay. Um, move Hammett's army from Benghazi to Tripoli and or play Send in the Marines. Hey, I have Send in the Marines, folks. Boom. Play both saw as the active event card, which it is. Place three Marine infantry units. One, two, three. USA. USA. Okay. Uh, so that the Marines go away and we have begun the assault. Okay, so we start with the Navy battle. Okay, uh, Naval combat. Okay, let's get the dice ready here. Let's hope the dice are nice, folks. So Naval combat until one side is completely wiped out, right? Four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So we have twelve coming. We lost one. They, they have one of those there. Okay, come on, sixes. There are four ships, and then they have two frigates with uh, two hit points. Hey, I see a six at least. Yay. That's it. <laughs> Boo. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Um, one player first takes single hits to damage frigates, then sink corsairs. Okay, so this one's damaged. Okay. Um, and then we just continue, right? Assault on trip. So we just keep going, right? Slackfish. Damage, frigate, still roll two dice. Yeah, we just keep going until there's one side remaining, correct? Because otherwise, it would, like, we'd start returning. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so that's my roll. Now they get to roll um, two, four, five, six for their two Corsairs and two Frigates. Again, hitting on sixes. And hey, all right. At least I'm not rolling sixes for them either. Damage simultaneous. That makes sense. Okay. So we will continue. Um, got my 12 dice. Oh, okay. One, two. <coughs> so I've hit two. I can destroy this one. Right? I mean, same thing. I destroy this, put it on the side. So this is gone, or it will be gone after they get their roll. So two, four, six. A. Oh, no. One, six. Okay. So that goes down. So now this is destroyed. Hey, we got a raid coming in. All right. Another. Wow. That's a third raid. It looks like it's Mitsugaru is um, raiding. Thank you, Mitsugaru, with a party of three, a party of tres. tres. Thank you for the raid. My name is Ruel Gaviola. This is Rolling with Ruel. I play board games here on Twitch every Monday through Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Let us know what you're playing or what you played. Hope it went well. Um, I do analog alerts here, so you get the raiding hat. My hat is off to you. Welcome, raiders. We are playing The Shores of Tripoli. This is a war game that uh, came out at the end of last year or started this year. It's now available through Fort Circle Games. We're in the big attack right now, the big battle, so hopefully we can win. Thank you for the raid. Appreciate you. Um, and I'm going to get back to the game here. Whoop. Okay. So, uh, where were we at? They, I got a roll now? Or did they roll? They took. I took the damage there, right? I think it's their turn. Okay. Or my turn, my turn. So two, four, six, eight, twelve, right? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Right. Uh, so I'm hitting on sixes. I think we're starting round three. Yep, thank you, Slackfish. Come on, sixes. There, finally. Boom. 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 One, two, three. Takes out that one for the final one, and then these at two hits each. They get their last hits, though. Uh, there is it. One, two, uh, three, or four. Uh, game Freak, I'm learning Root and doing Heck Alert. Oh, nice. Uh, they have rolled no sixes. I am safe. Woo! All right. Boom. Folks, now uh, Naval Bombardment. Do I do a bombard after a co uh, naval combat? Or do I just go straight to ground combat? Um, let's see. Playable move. Okay. So just for those who join us, we are on this. We're trying to play this card, Victory or Death. Uh, we have slowly but surely moved our infantry into Tripoli. And we've got our ships there. Just ground combat. Thank you, Slackfish. Okay, here we go. Ground combat. So one die per uh, infantry unit. So we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. We really built up our army. That was nice. And then they've got 2, 4, 6. Oh, take it back. American player was the one. Are removed to the supply. Any surviving? Oh, wait. So, okay. This one moves removed to the supply. And then any surviving gunboats and undamaged may make a one round bombardment. Oh, sweet. So bombardment is two dice each. Is that right? Yes. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Thank you, Slackfish, folks. I don't know where I would be. Uh, honestly, I know where exactly I'd have. I'd play this. I'd be totally playing this wrong if not for Slackfish. So shout out to Slackfish. Thank you, Daryl. I appreciate you. I, I've been rolling horribly. Let's get some sixes, shall we? So this is bombardment. Hey, I see one and two, and that's it. 
Okay, so two infantry. Boom. Now we go to the ground combat, folks. Oh my gosh, it's been good. This is a good game. I, I'm loving it. Okay, so I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. They've got four. There's their four. Two, four, six, seven. Where's my other? Oh, here. Eight, ten, eleven. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, I'm rolling. Uh, ground combat, let's see. Oh, do I have any ground combat cards? Um, I do. Uh, Lieutenant um, O'Bannon says, play at the start of a land battle. Select one mil mil marine infantry unit to roll three dice instead of one during each round of combat. Do they have... Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, yeah, they do. <laughs> oh my gosh. They had a couple... I, I got so excited, uh, Slackfish. They had this card. They could have played during the... The Gunner Tripoli. Playable during a naval battle in the harbor. The Tripoli fleet may roll an additional 12 dice. If played during the assault on Tripoli, only roll the extra dice in the first round of the naval battle. Whoops! Okay, I'm going to roll their 12 dice. Let's see what happens. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Thank you, GB Laser. Good to see you, friend. Have a great night. Okay, 1, 6. Okay. They rolled one six. So they would have just wiped out this ship, right? They Oh, they would have sunk it. So that means they get two of them. Yeah. Okay, so they, they sunk that ship. Okay. Yep, so they got two of our ships now. I think it's four ships. If they think sink four, then we're done. Okay. <laughs> uh, thank you, Slackfish, by the way. Okay. So this is this card is out um, now. They do have a land card. Um, here it is. So I have a land card. They have a land card. Uh, play will start a land battle before battle starts. Roll one die for each Arab infantry unit for each six. Oh my gosh! Return to the supply. So I've got two, four, six, seven in um, seven Arab infantry. Oh, Monique has redeemed five hundred Bruno points. Hey, Monique, thanks for taking Bruno for a walk. There he goes. Hi, Bruno. <laughs> Thanks, Moni. Uh, so I'm going to roll seven dice, and if any sixes, the Arabs get sent back home. One six. Okay. So one Arab goes back. Uh, so that is the Mercenaries Desert. Okay, so that's their card. Now I get to play my card, Lieutenant O'Bannon. Uh, Monique, yeah, it helps my soul. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, play at the start of the land battle. Select one infantry unit to roll three dice instead of one during each round. Okay, so I now I am down to, what was it, ten? Yeah, ten units. So I'm going to get ten dice plus the additional one. Um, I'm going to have eleven dice. Eight, ten. Oh, eleven. Perfect. Okay. Uh, again, hitting on sixes. Come on, let's just finish this, shall we? Come on. Okay, one, two, three. Ooh, so close. Okay, so three units are hit. They're going to get their hits now. Uh, so they have four dice. One, two, three, four. They're hitting on sixes as well. Nothing, yes. Okay, so those three gone. And we resume our combat. I still have my uh, Lieutenant... I, keep, I want to keep calling him Lieutenant Dan. Uh, Lieutenant O'Bannon. Select one infantry unit. This is during each round of combat. Sweet. So we get those 11 dice again. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Come on. Well, this has got to be it. Right, folks? We got this. We got this, folks. We got this. 1, 6. Yep. Okay. So this should be it. Yeah, this is it. 1, 6. We're going to roll there. One die, and nothing. Boom. We have won, folks. USA. USA. So there it is. Uh, playable in Assault on Triple Leaf. Playable in Fall 1805 or later, which we did. We have moved everything. Moved Hamas Army from Benghazi. And send in the Marines. Resolve the attack. That is it. GG. Good game. We did it. Oh, my gosh. That is it, friends. Yes. 
I'm so excited about this. This is, I, I really, again, I'm not a war gamer. This is my speed right here as far as war games. I really like it. What I, I think, I mean, the card play is uh, really interesting. Um, and it's tense. I mean, you, you saw I was two coins away from losing. Um, I was able to return two of those coins. And uh, Sackford says, now is it possible we messed up a rule along this? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, but we had fun. I There is one. Actually, let me get back to this. I know I messed up this one. Uh, this was theirs. U.S. Signal Boat Books Overboard. Playable after any interception roll that includes American Frigate. Randomly draw one card from the American player's hand and place the card in the discard pile. So that's actually a bit pretty big card right there. And um, so I'm looking forward to playing it again with the right rules. So thank you for this learning game with me, folks. Especially shout out to you, Slackfish. You did, as always, a fantastic job of keeping me straight and keeping me on um, doing getting the rules right. But I really like this game, folks. You can check it out at Fort Circle. I want to thank um, Kevin and his team there for sending a copy over here. Had a great time. This is definitely a keeper for me. This is my style, my speed of war game, um, along with like some of those games from Academy, like uh, 1775 and so forth. I do like the accessibility of this war game, though, not as intimidating. Yeah, I, that's, I think that's part of it as well. That's a good point, uh, Spam. Um, you know, there aren't like... Like Twilight Struggle, as much as I like that game, I've played it, I think, twice. That game you need to play multiple, multiple times because you need to get to know those cards, right? Because there are cards, there's, if you, you know, play cards the wrong way, you're never going to, you know, you're going to lose the game automatically, basically. Um, so, yeah, uh, Liz, in her commentary on the solo game, mentioned that one of the difficulties was that a lot of the enemy cards had very specific trigger situations, made it hard to play the AI accurately. Yeah, and that's true, Slackfish. And, you know, I printed out... Uh, this two-player sheet, uh, which has, you know, the all the rules on it, like a uh, outline, like a flow chart of the rules. There's also this one that I printed out for the solo rules, but I wasn't really sure how to, how to do it. I mean, it's got these, it's, again, like a flow chart thing that I, I need to look over it again. Maybe I was just looking at it wrong or whatever. But the thing I do like about this is it really got me interested in the history of this event. Like, I'm totally going to read, where is it? Here it is. I'm totally going to read the historical supplement again. You know, I, I flipped through it earlier, but they do have it like year by year, just like the game and tells you all the events. And um, yeah, I, I'm not going to lie. I was hoping there was like some kind of like uh, Alexander Hamilton reference just so I could watch Hamilton. Well, you know, I'm going to watch Hamilton anyways. It's got Thomas Jefferson, right? So Thomas Jefferson, he was in Hamilton. So I got to watch Hamilton again. Um, but Friends, that is the Shores of Tripoli. Thank you again for joining me. Thank you for all the raids. Appreciate all the raids. So we had Meepleville. We had, um, oh my gosh, I, I forgot. Uh, Mitsugaru. We had, um, uh, who was the other raid? I, I'm sorry. I'm, it's been a long night. I feel like it's been a long night. Meepleville. Uh, we also had Weird Guy of Doom. Thank you, Weird Guy of Doom. Uh, yeah, we don't have enough hardcore gamers in our life to get twice struggle to the table enough. Definitely sparks my curiosity with the history. Thanks for it. Thank you, Board Games Fan. Appreciate it. Absolutely. The way that games can put you in the shoes of people at that time. Like, empathize in a different way than reading his... Agreed. 100%. It's so... You know, we're all gamers. We understand, like, you know, that's that's our language, right? Our, our language is through games. So, thank you, friends. I'm going to be back here tomorrow with Michelle. Uh, we're going to play a game, I believe... Well, I don't, I don't know for sure exactly yet, but we're going to play a game tomorrow. So, please come back and join uh, me and my wife at 7 p.m. here Pacific. Uh, thank you again. Let's start a raid. I'm going to raid. Who are we going to raid, folks? Who is available? Uh, good night. Thank you, Amanda, as always. Um, blanket term. Yeah, let's, let's raid blanket term. Those, those are those are some... Um, they're a group of college kids that play uh, play games. Uh, I haven't raided them in a while. I'm going to raid them. Uh, stick around for the raid, folks. I'm going to start that now. We'll get in a few seconds here. Have a great night. Um, stick around for the raid, and we'll see you soon. Have a great night. Bye, everybody.